There are three theories for explaining the shape of the yield curve. Expectation theory says that long-term yields are the average of short-term yields. Market segmentation theory says that yields are simply determined by supply and demand. And liquidity premium theory is a combination of the first two theories. So let's discuss this in a little bit more detail. So expectation theory. So as I said, the long-term yield of a financial instrument is the average of the short-term yields that occur over the life of that instrument. Let's do an example. It'll be a little bit easier to understand. So let's say you got a current yield and a one-year bond is 3%. And investors expect the yield for an identical one-year bond one year from now to be 4%. So let me draw this out. Okay, so we're saying that we've got this time horizon right now for this one-year bond would be 3%. But then one year from now, okay, so this is one year from now, one year later, okay, if there was an identical bond, a one-year bond again, okay, starting right here and going forward, right, so this would, be, this would have a yield of 4%. That's what investors e expect. So you simply take this and this, add them together, and divide by two. So you just take the, uh, the average there. So 3% plus 4% is 3.5%. So 3.5% would be the yield for a two-year bond starting right now. Okay. So right now, if we start and said, what's a two-year bond? It would be the average of a one-year bond starting today, which would be 3% yield, and then a one-year bond starting one year from now and going for one year, which would be 4%. So this period would be 4%. This would be 3%. Add them together, divide, take, take the average there, and you've got 3.5% would be the, the, the yield for a two-year bond would be the whole year period. Okay, so it's just the, the yield for the long term, so in this case two-year, is the average of the two short terms. Okay, so that's expectation theory. Uh, so basically if you have an upward yield curve, okay, which is the most t common type of yield curve, uh, investors expecting uh, short-term yields to, to go up in the future. Uh, if you have a downward yield curve, an inverted yield curve, that means investors think that short-term yields are, are probably going to go down in the future. So basically, the yield curve is going to change as investors' expectations about uh, short-term yields change because the long-term yields are basically just the average of the short-term yields. So Okay, that exp and if you think about all this, it explains why the yields with different maturities, whether it be short term or long term, they tend to move together. Okay, so that's expectation theory. Market segmentation theory says, okay, leave aside this stuff about averages. Uh, long term yields are not simply the average of the short term yields over that time horizon. It's all about supply and demand. Okay, investors are just going to have a certain preference for certain types of financial instruments at a certain given point in time. So it might be that right now investors have a real strong preference for short-term financial instruments relative to long-term or vice versa. Okay, so it's all about supply and demand. It's not just that long-term yields are the average of the short-term uh, yields. Okay, now this doesn't explain why yields with different maturities tend to move together. Okay, so that's one downside to market segmentation theory. Now, liquidity premium theory is a combination of expectation theory and market segmentation, uh, segmentation theory. So liquidity premium theory says, look, yes, the long-term yield is the average of the short-term yields. However, there's also a liquidity premium that represents a supply and demand that investors happen to have for financial instruments, of whether it be short-term or long-term at any given point in time. So it's basically saying yes to expectation theory. Okay, Long-term yield is the average of short-term yields, but... But at any given point in time, investors might also have a preference and be willing to pay a premium for, for short-term or long-term, whatever it happens to be.